And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Godspeed, the Bible well, Trivia really Game welcome. Show. Godspeed, the Bible Trivia Game Show. I am your host, Winston Quattlebaum, and this is a very, very special episode as we have some young men today that are joining us from my own home church. That's Lifeline Restoration Ministries. Now, let's get to meet these very special contestants. First up on the board, we have our very own Pastor Cavalier D'Angelo Williams. Welcome into the house of the Lord today, my brothers and my sisters. Amen? Amen. Hello, somebody. Now, I'm not going to be before you long, but I just want to... I'm sorry, Pastor. Do you have a word right now? Oh, <laughs> whoops, whoops, whoops. I'm sorry, brothers. I saw a pulpit and I just went right into it. I didn't even realize I was doing that. All right. Moving right along, next we have Deacon Devondrius Jericho. When do we spin the wheel? Woo! Say Jack. Devondrius, you know it's me, Winston, right? We go to the same church, and I drove you here. Wait a minute. You're the same guy who drove the Pontiac? I thought you were an Uber driver. Winston would take his time having a conversation instead of introducing me. Hi, hailing from Bel Air, California, and possibly potentially being nominated for two or three Dove Awards. He is the minister of music, the worship and praise singer, the man of a thousand hats, Abraham J. Troubadour. Winston. Abraham, you're from Cheryl's Ford, North Carolina, and I'll just leave the whole double wards thing alone. Next up, we have Large Anthony. Ha <laughs> ha, please listen. Call me Big Tony. Large Tony was my father. Or, or was I little Tony? Ha <laughs> ha, doesn't matter. Listen, I'm just pleased to be here again. Remember, I'm just a recent Christian, so I don't know as much as you guys do. Try to hit me with some lowball questions like, what are the Ten Commandments or what's the name of the Bible? Ha <laughs> ha! Winston would immediately play favorites, couldn't even introduce me. Daddy, I used to make grand entrances with robes that cost about 3,000 yen. That's about 27 US dollars. Yet, your tides are always late. Hmm. Andreas. Hmm. Well, don't worry about it. I'll let Jesus know what the reasoning is since you don't talk to him anymore. The boy hasn't prayed since Kirk Franklin's first CD. Praise God. I'm telling the truth. I'm dropping truth bombs, brother. Truth bombs. Truth bombs. Look out. Die for cup, brother, because there's truth bombs coming up in here. He didn't even pray before he ate his sandwich. I watched him. He just dived right into it like somebody who bought food before a party and didn't want to share with anybody. Whose party? Oh, and also, you know what? There's a little saying, Daddy, let he who's without sin cast the first stone. Whew. But it looks like, Cavalier, Daddy, you decided to carry a brick. So I'm going to tell this to the people one time. When Abraham J. Troubadour, minister that is, had his holiday concert series the night before Easter, I saw with my own two eyes. Cavalier Williams watching an outdoor showing of a whole lot of Hallmark movies, Daddy. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. Spill the tea. Give me chaos. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, well, uh, well, Abraham. Abraham, I'm going to tell the truth now. More truth bombs. Run for cover, run for cover. Abraham only put on that show because he didn't want to watch The Word with Winston Quarterbaum. Because let's be real, brothers. Let's just drop it all on the table, shall we? Because Abraham just cannot stand Winston Cornwall. That's what it is, what it is. I said it, I said it, I figured. Actually, Winston is my best friend. I only make fun of him as much as I do because I love him. But since we're all just putting out everyone's business, uh, Winston was the one who asked me to put on that concert because he didn't want to do the word of Winston Quarterbaum because he was tired of having to do it every week. Abraham, I'm going to eradicate you. Winston, after you begged me to do that show on behalf of our church, now you come and you bring art against me? Well, Cavalier, is that any better than you bring it up by lack of payment for tithes? And you know what, everybody? If you all must know, I'm broke. I know you see the gold and you think that guy's got it all figured out. Well, I hate to break it to you and burst your bubbles about me, but I've been wearing the same suit since I joined the church. It is a nice suit. 
And if you'd like, I can style it for you. You know what, Big Tony? Styling doesn't mean anything. All you're doing is taking someone else's clothes and putting it on a person. You might as well be a glorified sales clerk. Abraham, I just got saved, so I still have one foot in the world right now. Don't make me take both feet and step back in at full throttle, because I will work you. Ha <laughs> ha! I may be the new guy, but I'm not a fool guy. Ha <laughs> ha! Don't test me. Two death threats in one night. Ooh, daddy, that reminds me of the time with me and Rambling No, Re no, Devondris, just no, not this time. We gotta stop that. I mean, how do you remember matches from the 70s and 80s, but you can't remember the scriptures from this morning? So now the reporter on the scene knows more about the Bible than we do. I feel like you're only hosting this thing because you're afraid if anybody asks you even the most basic questions, you get it wrong. I don't want to say nothing, but Winston does only quote Jesus wept, and it doesn't even apply to the scenario most times. Let's be real. <laughs> like I said, I know the Ten Commandments. I used to come on TV on Easter night, and I'd stay up and watch it. So I had an excuse as a kid to stay up late and do bad things when my parents went to sleep. Ha <laughs> ha! So I know the Ten Commandments. Name them. Ha <laughs> ha! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, brothers. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's be real. Hold on, brothers. This, this is terrible. This is an abomination. All of us are acting out of pocket and out of character, or maybe directly in character, depending on how we usually are. But this is not pleasing in the eyes of God. This is supposed to be a friendly competition that glorifies him and brings us together. We are fighting and we are bickering, and this is not of God. He doesn't care about our titles or who does what at what time if it's not glorifying him. So right now, we are wasting God's time and our time. So I think you brothers know what we have to do. I think you know what we gotta do. Throw oh, ourselves on the altar. Excuse me, gentlemen. My name is Evangelist Mano De Negro, and I was wondering if there was room for Uno Mas. You see, I would love to join 